Hi Gemini and welcome to your reading for today. This is going to be the first part of your reading which is going to be your energy. We're going to see what's going on with you at this time. So if this isn't the message for you then maybe um, check out your moon sign or your rising sign. There might be a more fitting message for you there. And remember whenever you see this message is when you're meant to see it okay. So it could be past, present or future. Now, I'm also going to be doing personal readings um, now, so if you're interested in that, um, it's going to be in the description box below on how you can do that. So, let's see, Gemini, what's going on with Gemini? Holy Angels, what is going on with Gemini? What does Gemini need to know at this time? Let's see. Four of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Justice. Okay, justice is here. So you could, yeah, I was just about to say just with these cards alone, you could be working on your stability at this time. You might have a lot on your back right now, Gemini. You might be trying to just make ends meet, but you've got the Nine of Pentacles here. So you are moving into that Nine of Pentacles energy where you're going to start um, seeing the rewards for the hard work that you've been putting in, okay? So we'll have to see if this is your past and if this is what's going on with you right now or if this is what you're moving towards. But this is your... Yo! This is your justice, this is your justice, okay? I feel like you've been putting in a lot of work. You've been really moving towards a certain goal and you've been doing the work to get there and I and it, it's gonna come in for you. It's, it's gonna come in for you. Yeah, look at this. The Fool, the Three of Wands. Like you have been, um, you might have taken a leap into a new direction. You have been planning your future and I feel like you've been doing this meticulously. You've been very focused. I feel like you have a clear um, goal in mind and you've been like moving that in that direction here. You know exactly the direction that you wanna go. I'm being called to get a different deck though for you. I don't know why, but let's see. Deck is calling me more for some reason here. Let's see what's going on with Gemini. Why is the four of wands here for Gemini? The magician. Yeah, you've been manifesting. You, you have been manifesting this in here, okay? The two of swords, the six of wands in reverse and the two of swords. So, you might have had to face a lot of obstacles, okay? You might have felt like you're being blocked for some reason. You might have felt like it, it's a hard road, like stability, you, like growing your stability um, isn't easy. You might have, um, what I'm getting is you might have come from like circumstances that weren't the Fav the like the most favorable um ground step let's just put it that way you like with the six of wands reverse you might also be somebody what i'm getting is like you might be somebody in your family where um you're the first one to make your dreams come true like this like you're the first person to actually go out and want to make more for your life like <clears throat> I'm getting like this kind of energy of somebody that is like from a small town where everybody is always doing the same thing and you're the first one to be like I want to go out where's the three of wands like I want to go out and I want to do more with my life like I'm getting somebody that um you dream bigger than most people you have like bigger dreams you see more for yourself but I feel like some people might, around you might have not believed in you People might not believe in you, might not believe in your dreams. They might not see what you see here with the Two of Swords. So why is the Two of Pentacles here for Gemini? Six of Wands, Nine of Wands in reverse, and you've got the Four of Coins in reverse and the Five of Cups. Yeah, I feel like it's been hard. Like, it's not an easy road here you might have had to give up things like the four of coins is in reverse and then you're at the two of pentacles so the two of coins so you might have had to release certain things or you might have lost um stability or finances in a way you might have gone through a period of time where you were grieving this like um 
I feel like you also might have been at a point in your life where you didn't know if you were going to get there. Like I'm getting somebody that might have had setbacks. But the nine of wands reverse, you might, maybe that's what you're going through right now. You might be kind of doubting yourself, wondering if you're ever going to get there. Things feel so hard. Um, you're losing stability. You might have lost um, finances. You might have lost something. You might have had to give up on something here. But you, But with the king of wands, I feel like you are somebody that's very determined. Like you know what you want. You you know that you have this energy within you. And I, I it's almost like, you're giving me that energy of like, you don't know why things aren't working out for you. Like things feel so hard. I don't know if you feel like <clears throat> giving up. Don't give up, Gemini. Don't give up. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Did you see that? It flew right onto the Nine of Pentacles, so. Two of wands and you've got the seven of coins in the bottom so yeah you're you might you might be in a period of time a uh, period of your life because the nine of pentacles is here so you might be in a period of your life where you are investing a lot and you're just not seeing the results like you might be at that point where you're like let's just say a farm right you're planting the seeds you're watering them every day but they haven't sprouted out of the ground yet like they're not bearing any fruit yet and you might have lost a lot like let's just keep taking this example of a farm um you might have sold your property and you wanted to move to a new property so that you can have a bigger farm right or something like that you might have had to trade something in to get something else and in that process you might have lost a lot of finances a lot of stability and you have this clear goal in mind i see that you're focused on something like laser focused like you know exactly where you want to go you know exactly what you want to um have and build but you might also just be at a time right now where you're struggling and you're also you might be sitting there wondering if you made the right choice because you have the two of wands here you might be wondering if you made the right choice with whatever this is because you're not you, you might feel blocked right now you might feel like it's just not um it's just not going as fast as you would like you might feel a little bit of impatience right now but you have the queen of wands here like you have you have king of wands queen of wands and i see this as your energy right now i see you as somebody that's like very confident you're a doer you're you're um you have this drive in in you that you know you want to accomplish something in your life like you have that passion for something a passion for a project or a business or a direction and it's within you right and you and but you made a you made a choice in your life you made a choice and whatever choice this is it's going to bring you stability it will even if right now you're at the 2 you're moving from the 2 to the 7 Okay, you're taking that that those two pentacles that you have and you're investing them with the seven of coins, you're, you're investing them and it's going to lead you to this. You will be independent. It will bear fruit. That tree that you're planting, those seeds, they will in due time. But right now it might feel like you're just at the very beginning with the two of wands. You might feel like you're at the beginning. So don't give up yet. Don't give up. I know that I see your goal here. You definitely have a manifestation here. You have a goal of being stable, okay? And it, I feel like it's going to give you the results that you're looking for. So let's see here for Gemini. Why is the Four of Wands here for Gemini? Or actually, why is the Six of Wands in reverse for Gemini? Looking at your photos, missing your nostalgia. Make new memories. Maybe there was some sort of a defeat in the in the past. Like the road to success is a bumpy road, right? The road to success is sometimes a bumpy road, and maybe you've um, you you felt you went through something that you might have it might have felt like it was a defeat at that time. Um, you might be looking back at this. And feeling like something, you know, an opportunity was blocked from you. It's kind of giving me that feeling of like, 
just take it how it resonates as just an example of like somebody that wants to become an actress or something like that. You hear these stories from the industry sometimes of like people that want to, you know, they want to get big and then they go to all these auditions and all these castings and they all they hear is no, 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 no. So that might have gotten to you a little bit like an, a situation like that, right? Or maybe a job offer or something like it felt like a defeat to you that you lost something or you didn't receive something. You might have felt like you were blocked. You might also not know why. Like you, I'm getting a feeling of you are, you have a strong will. You know what your manifestation is and you don't understand why it's not working out. Like it's not going fast enough. Maybe you're just impatient. You hear that bird outside? I don't know if you heard that, but you might be a little bit, I'm getting an energy of somebody that feels like a little bit confused. Like you're putting in all this work, you have the manifestation, you, you are honoring that manifestation, you're doing all these things, but you feel like you're not getting the results that you're looking for. I feel like this has something to do with divine timing, Gemini. You are on the right path. If you've been like wondering if, you know, is this the wrong path? Am I doing something wrong? Am I not going the right way? Like, why is it not working out? Should I give up? Should I do something else? No. Keep going. Even if you don't see the results right now, keep going. Because I feel like it's a thing of divine timing. There's a reason why something's not going the way it is right now. Maybe it's because it's just not the right time, but you, I feel like you are on the right path. So what's the two of swords for Gemini? The Phoenix. New phase, transformation, renew. Yeah, you might have had to really start from scratch. You might have really had to like restart something, like start over completely. And I feel like you you know that you're the phoenix. And I feel like you're like somebody like, <laughs> I'm seeing this energy of you. You're like, you're like moving. You're like moving. You got this energy. You're like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. And it's like, the divine is like holding you in the air while you're like, I'm ready. Like, just let me go. Just let me run. I'm ready for the goal. Like I see it in my, I can see it. And God is just like, not yet, not yet. But when you hit, when he drops you, you're going to hit the ground running. That's what I see in you. And you're like, this is, you're like, God, I'm ready. Like I'm ready for my path. Why are you not, why are you not dropping me down to hit the ground running it's like i had my rebirth i i i know where i want to go but you're still like there's still a seed that's like germinating i don't know there's still something that's like god's like no just wait just wait just wait and you're like no but i know where i want to go <laughs> that's the energy i'm getting off you and then you're like god's like holding you for a specific purpose the divine is holding you up for a specific purpose and then um you know, you're like, but why, why am I struggling? Like, you might be asking yourself, like, well, why am I struggling? Like, why is it not working? Five of cups, you might be feeling like a little bit demotivated or something like that. But there's, there's a reason. I can't tell you what the reason is, but it's, there's something here. What's the two of pentacles? Addiction in reverse. Obsession, possession, controlling has a block restraint in reverse. You might have to let go of the control. Like, you know where you want to go. You know the path. But, like, I'm getting with this, this visual of, like, you wanting to run and control, like, the next move. It's like, you're not the one. I'm getting, like, you're not the one that's in control. God is. Or the divine, the universe is. Like, whatever you believe in, okay, is um, the keeper of your destiny here. You're not the one that's in control. And you might feel like you're being blocked, but you're actually not. Is also what I'm getting. Like, has a block and restraint is in reverse. It might feel like you're being blocked or you're being restrained, but actually you're not. 
I feel like something is just going slower than what you thought it would. What's the four points reverse for Gemini? Okay, so you got engage, you got partnership here, commitment here, and then you've got being charmed or used, enable boundaries. The reason why you might be being kind of held up by God is what I'm getting is you might have been surrounded by people that were just trying to use you. Maybe this was being slowed down for you for a reason because um, you need to look, you needed to see things about people around you first before you could be granted the blessing, right? Because I feel like there was somebody around you or people around you that they wanted to use you. You had to have boundaries with certain people first, with some sort of partnerships. You might have even had to let go of certain partnerships with the four of coins in reverse. You might have had to release um, partnerships or people or commitments to other people, to other things in order for this to come in because whatever you were attached to was just planning on using you. The divine needed you to have certain boundaries up with people first. Now, you might have, maybe you didn't even realize that this is what was going on. You were forced to let go of things or people that were standing in your way. And that might have actually been this defeating energy here where you felt defeated. You felt like you lost something. Like, for example, you know, the example I did at the beginning with you um, maybe getting rejections a lot. Like, try to hold that in your faith that that rejection was for your protection. Like you might have not realized it at first. It might have made you very upset and sad. Or maybe you're going through this at this time. Is um, that sadness of like, but I really wanted this opportunity. Like I thought that this was meant for me and you didn't get it. There's a reason why you didn't get it. Okay. God has to, or, I, you know, whoever you believe, whatever you believe. But the divine had to free you up from certain past commitments, from certain situations, surroundings, in order to put you on your path. I feel like that's why he's holding you in the air and not letting you hit the ground running because he doesn't want you to hit a wall. He doesn't want you to run into a situation that's not meant for you. He doesn't want you to run towards people that aren't meant for you. When he drops you on the ground, he wants you to run into your destiny and into what you deserve, into your prosperous era here he wants you to run into what he has um granted you okay what he has planned for you in your life so what's the king of wands yeah exactly exactly but i mean this is wedding rings on it but i'm getting like i don't know it could be a marriage but i feel, i feel like more like commitments like binding commitments like a contract like things that you're bound to that he wanted you to really um look at these things okay relationships reflect our wounds he wanted you to look at the relationships the contract like even if it's a contract or something like that like um a binding contract with another person or with a company or something like that he wanted you to look at this first because these things might have bound you to something that was not your destiny but these people might see potential in you and they want to use you for their own for their own um benefit right so you might have had to release these things you might have lost certain things in your life or certain opportunities or situations but i feel like this reading is like it was for your protection like just sometimes the road to success like i said is bumpy like you will not receive a yes on everything but just trust in the divine that there's a reason for that okay what's the nine of wands in reverse mask somebody around you was masking themselves there was somebody hiding themselves or deluding the truth pretending something not showing their true feelings yeah there was something going on around you that you were not seeing but god saw it your angels and your guides they saw it there was somebody around you that was wearing a mask and you might not have seen this you might have thought that this was a golden opportunity for you but you might not have seen the truth. This might have, you might have been saved. God might have saved you from a situation that you wouldn't have been able 
to unbind yourself from with the with wedding rings here. What's the nine of pentacles? I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blue. Fun flirting wants to date. Okay. What's the Queen of Wands? Healing heart. Yeah, healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationships. Yeah. What I'm getting off you, Gemini, is like you have an energy that others see as being very abundant. People see you as being very prosperous and, you know, maybe even very like career driven. People see a lot of potential in you and that's why they like you. That's why they want to attach themselves to you. That's why they want to offer you certain things or work with you or something like that. But if something didn't work out, it was because it would have stunted your healing in some sort of way. You had to, I feel also that you had to have been released from certain energies, like you had to uh, release yourself from toxic people or toxic situations and relationships in order for you to grow into this queen of wands. Like you needed to be confident in yourself, okay? Um, shine your own light. Like maybe you wanted to, like sometimes God redirects us in the craziest ways. Like you might have wanted to work for a specific company, for example. That's why I keep getting something like that. And God was like, no, you're not going to work in that company because God wants you to shine on your own. He wants you to be single and independent and maybe even just work for yourself. He doesn't want you to be chained to other people. He wants you to release yourself from that because you have that confidence within you. You don't have to hide behind a company or behind another person. Like you are this confident, strong, um, motivated, passionate person with the ideas. You might have a strong sacral chakra is also what I'm getting. And you have all of that within you, what God wants you to show to the world, okay? That's why people will like you. That's why people will come to you. It's because they see in you who you are. You don't need to hide behind another person or a company or another situation or something like that. I feel like God was redirecting you. What's the page of cups? Yeah, with the two of wands, like especially with this two of wands, like there's, you know, two faces going two different ways. I feel like you were redirected on purpose here ascending i can't make it up man transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase yeah you're gonna get a new um opportunity here but you had to be redirected that's what i'm getting here I'm getting that you didn't understand why something didn't work out for you. It was because you're being redirected on purpose and have faith in that. Even if you're not seeing that right now, you're not seeing why. You transcended an obstacle. God like picked you out of a situation that you weren't supposed to be in. It was like, mm, nope, this is where you belong. This is going to help you manifest. Even though you were probably like, this is the way. This is, I know this is the way. That's why I'm getting off you. And God was like, nope, I know better. And then he's dropped you into a new phase of your life. And now you're maybe starting at the very beginning. You might have to, you might feel like you're starting completely over from scratch. And you're like, this is, I don't know if this is the right way. Like something, I'm just, you feel like you lost something. You feel defeated. But believe me, there was a reason for this. What's the two of wands here? Boat. You will receive what you need. You have to believe in that. Progression arriving. Moving on, you will arrive, you are being redirected, and you will receive what you need. Believe in that. Trust in that God will provide you with what you need, and you will receive what you need after you, um, you know, go that, new, new that, go that new direction and have faith that that is, even if it seems weird and crazy and like you have to start over completely, there's a reason why you're being redirected, okay? Something around you was not a fit for you, okay? So... Yeah. I just want to get one from the Kipper, like. What is this Four of Coins reverse here? What did um, Gemini have to release here? Imprisonment. Occupation wanted to come out as well. Yeah, I feel like this is 
There was an occupation. There was a job. There was a company. There was a boss that you had to be released from because this would have imprisoned you, bound you to somewhere that you were not supposed to be. You might have felt at a time that this was like the dream, uh, the job of your dreams, like this was going to help you. This was going to get you in the right direction. No, this was imprisonment. This was, this. you were being used there. This is coming out with girl with the snake. Somebody was using you. Somebody was using you. Somebody wanted to snake around you and imprison you and bind you to them. This would not have put you on your right path at all. Yeah. So let's see here, Gemini. Who is Gemini dealing with? A boyfriend. Oh, he's working on that card. Hold on, there's a couple in here that didn't. Who is uh, Gemini dealing with, Holy Angels? A girlfriend. So this could be a relationship. Could be a marriage as well. A oh, wife. Okay, so it also could be a, a, a marriage, maybe. Maybe um, like an engagement didn't work out or something like that. Maybe somebody wanted you to get married. And you're wondering why that um, the marriage didn't work out, the engagement didn't work out. I feel like God was redirecting you here on purpose. Something could have something to do with a gang member. Something could have something to do with a Libra. Something could have something to do with an Aquarius. Holy angels, who is Gemini dealing with here? Somebody could have been a Luciferian. Somebody dark. It could be a Sagittarius here. That's a Luciferian. It's something to do with your grandparents or a grandparent is involved. Who else is Gemini dealing with here? Holy angels. This could be a baby daddy. Something to do with June or somebody born in June. It's got something to do with a judge. And you've got ex-girlfriend at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Gemini, I'm going to leave it at that for the first part of your reading. Now we kind of got what your general energy is at this time. Now in the second part of your reading, we'll see if there's anything else that your angels want you to know about this situation. And if they have any other advice for you here with um, what's going on in your energy at this time. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. And then I'll see you in the next one, Gemini. Bye.